guys, how you doing? This is Jake, Jordan, and Jagger coming to you for your first online workout. So um, I just want to let everybody know that we have, uh, we're really sorry about not being able to get the information to you as soon as possible it's about, about having to close down. Uh, the, the, it just came to us really late last night. We we're trying to coordinate, figure out what we we're going to do. So I'm um, sorry if some things got lost in the, uh, in the shuffle there and, and some of you guys came and saw that the gym was shut down. So I apologize for that. However, we are here today to do some online training. It's beautiful outside. Um, it's beautiful in here. And we are looking to um, want to keep the momentum of the gym going. So if you can join us, it'd be amazing. Um, we're going to loan out dumbbells. So if you want a pair of dumbbells, just reach out to us at info at nwcrossfit.com and then uh, just let us know um, what, what, what pair you want. We'll coordinate a time for you to come pick them up. And then, because uh, we're going to look into the future of doing two workouts, one without equipment, one with equipment. And so uh, we'll start with the ones with equipment with just dumbbells only. So, but for right now, we're going to do just calisthenic workouts until we get everybody uh, to have dumbbells and we'll start adding those as well. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let me have Jordan start to explain to you what the workout is for today, okay? What's up, guys? We got, can you see that? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Five rounds, four time, 20 jumping lunge, 30 mountain climbers, 40 shoulder taps. That's total. So that'll be 10 on each leg, 15, and then 20. Then we will finish <clears throat> with 50 push-ups. Uh, can we hold off on the music for just a sec? Uh, finish with 50 push-ups, and if we're going fire breather, then we're gonna go for 100 push-ups. Now the kicker with this, to make it difficult, is you're gonna be doing as many reps as you can, so you're gonna be going to burnout until you reach 50 or 100. That's the kicker. Cool? Cool. We'll go over, we'll, we'll demo those movements in a moment. Okay. Um, yep. So, so let's go through the warm up. Let's start out with the warm up. So, okay. uh, so for the warm up, guys, what we're gonna be doing, you're just gonna do an inchworm complex. You've probably seen this in every single one of my classes. Uh, keep the legs straight, block it out, push up in the cobra, rock side to side. Okay, we're just gonna press back in a downward dog and then drag the heels into the ground, back and forth. We're going 10 times. back into an upward dog. We're gonna uh, flop down onto the ground with our arms out to the sides, and then just reach your leg over, try to touch your hand. Press against the ground, get that shoulder stretch, and then go back to the other side. We'll just do 10. Press back. Um, we're gonna go into a downward dog again and then step forward into a world's greatest stretch. So you're gonna go Spider Man stretch first, drive the elbow towards your ankle, keep that back knee as straight as you possibly can up off the ground. Yep. And then we can, if you wanna make it fancy, turn up to the sky. Good. Okay, switch, go to the other side with the arm. The arm, yep, you can keep the leg up. And then we're going to drop that back knee to the floor, press out on this opposite knee, keeping this foot flat. Okay. You can rock side to side a little bit. And then lean back to down quarter to uh, that hamstring stretch. Pull the toe back. Okay, and then when you guys are ready after about 10 seconds. I would say do every single one of these for about 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, and then switch, go to the other side. Get that first Spider-Man stretch. Okay, and then we're gonna open up. Good, and then open up from the other side. out on this one. Keep this foot flat to the floor. Good. And then lean 
back, pull that toe back towards you. And then remember, just 10, 15 seconds. Uh, when we're done with this, we're gonna pop up and then uh, if you've been to most of my classes where we have push exercises or press exercises, we do bicep tendon stretch beforehand. Uh, that way you don't get pain right here in the front delt. So we're gonna bring it over to the wall. You guys are gonna go fingers facing down here, palm into the wall, and then just turn out, get that stretch going up into the bicep. Easy, and just do 30 seconds each side. Perfect. And then once you're done with this, we'll go into the workout and do a little demonstration on that. Got it. Go to the other side. They're doing it with you, so you want to make sure you have enough time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're definitely having to edit this. <laughs> no, there's not, there's not editing this. We're not editing anything, man. This, no, is, this is all. This, this is, is just final look. product. Yeah, get my light. <laughs> oh no. Shoulder taps, you stay in plank and you just touch your opposite shoulder or touch the same shoulder. You will feel it slightly differently. Slightly different. Once we finish five rounds of those three movements, we will finish with push ups. As we know, all those stay either super close into our ribcage. We're no more than 45 degrees outside of our shoulder socket. As soon as we start getting up to 90 from our shoulders, placing all of that weight on our sockets and the tissue. We don't want to do that, man. So keep the elbows nice and close for 45. Chest gets to the ground, we push ourselves up. If you need to modify, uh, you can modify it to your knees, but if you have something that, like a box, or something tall that you can get up onto, I would rather you do that than go to your knees. That way your entire body can stay in plank. It'll move more like a, a traditional push-up that way. And that about does it. Um, we're gonna start with a 400 meter jog before we get started. I recommend you starting with about 90 seconds of jogging in place or ankle jumps. Just to get the blood pumping and the heart rate up. And then you can go right into your five rounds. Cool. Cool. Bam. When do you want to set the clock? What's that? When do you want to set the clock? After they did the 90 seconds? After you do your 90 seconds or your 400 meter run, that's when you'll set the clock. Your time, your score will be when you have finished your push ups. And again, RX is 50 push ups, five breather is 100. 
Okay. So, so, so the workout will start with a 400 meter run, right? The no, that, oh, okay, so that's just the warm up. That's just, that's just, that's warm just warm the warm up. That's just to get the blood pumping. Oh, okay, so the gotcha. The workout starts with the five minutes. Okay, great. So let's just go through the workout one more time on the board so you guys have it. Five rounds, four time. Okay, so make sure everyone can see that. So we are looking at 20 jumping lunges, 30 mountain climbers, 40 shoulder taps, and... Um, One more time, total. 20 total, 30 total, 40 total. That's right. So 10 each side, 15 each side, 20 each side. That's right. So you do this five rounds, and then at the very end, this is your finisher, 50 push-ups, and then if you're a fire breather, do 100 push-ups, and that's doing, it, so. And doing as many reps as you can. You're, we're going to burn out until you reach either 50 or 100. That's the challenge. Okay, so I have got everything set in place here, and we're going to have these guys go for their 90, 90 uh, second jog or a 400 meter run, whichever one you guys want to do. Yeah. And then, so that way you guys can start with us at the same time. Cool. Okay, who wants to go for the 400 meter run? I'll go on the Who yacht. wants to go for the jog? You want to go first? Or you I'll go on the jog. Okay. Okay. All right. Like okay, you guys, go ahead. Go into your 90 seconds. Okay. Ready, and go. <laughs> All right. Much just jogging in place. You can do some jump rope if you have a jump rope. For that knee for the jumping lunges, you guys have uh, a little bit of an issue with impact once you land on your jumping lunges. Make sure you grab a pad or something like a pillow, anything to help you out. Okay, you guys all ready? Here we go. We're gonna start with the uh, with the clock. We're gonna get the clock ready to go, and then uh, again, you're starting with 20 jumping lunges. Okay. Clock will stay running until. Um, if you have your own clock, go ahead and set your own clock if you want. Okay. All right, guys. So it's it's time to get your clocks ready. So you guys all get your clocks ready and. Um, and then we'll meet you on the other side of the workout. Okay, so. You want to start us off? Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. In a three, two, one, go! Go! 